Hey, I'm Carl from Acoustic. And I'm Ed from Acoustic. And we're here today to introduce the new Classic Series bass combo amplifiers. We've got three amps in the series. We've got a 25 water with an 8 inch speaker, a 50 watt model with a 10 inch speaker, and a 100 watt model with a 12 inch speaker. And when we designed these combos, we really wanted to have amps that had a whole lot of clean headroom. So as you ride up the volume dial, you'll notice that the bass sound stays nice and clean. Uh, you're not going to get unwanted distortion until you hit the overdrive section that we've thrown into all three of these amps as well. So you can add in as much grit and dirt as you like with that. We've also re-engineered the EQs on all of these combos. So they're a whole lot more effective uh, and you'll get a whole lot of more use and tweakability out of them, we think. Then we've also housed all the combos in these handy tilt back cabs. So when you throw them on their side, speakers pointed straight up at your head instead of at the back of your legs. You can hear yourself a whole lot better on, you know, crowded stages, things like that. Now, before we get uh, a little bit more into the B100C that's sitting here, Ed, tell us uh, about the instrument that you're playing. All right. Well, today I'm playing a Fender P bass. This one is a 1958 American vintage reissue. It's all stock. I've got flat wound strings on it, and I'm connected with a live wire elite cable straight into the amp. Cool. Now, the B100C is the biggest of our three bass combos, and it has a fully featured direct out around back along with an effects loop. Around front, you've got a four band EQ and a gain with a master volume overdrive section, and we'll walk you through some of that now. So starting with our negative 10 dB pad switch all the way on the left hand side, if you've got an active bass, just push that in. It's going to set you up so that you're not going to be uh, peaking or anything like that because active basses can run a little bit hotter. And from there, you're going to hit the gain and master volume. So I'll leave the gain at about noon. And as I take you through the volume knob, you'll hear bass is going to stay tight and clean. From there, we'll go into our overdrive section. Here you can really add as much saturation and grit as you like. When I flick it on, I'm going to start at a light kind of overdrive and then we'll go into more of a medium drive and we'll end up at full grind and saturation. So now we're going to get into the EQ section, starting with the frequency notch control. This is going to notch out certain frequencies depending on where you have the knob set, and it can be a really, really useful control for setting up your sound before you even hit further shaping in the four band EQ. So I'll sweep you through here. You can hear what it does to Ed's bass tone. From there, we hit our four band EQ section. Now I'll use this to dial up a couple of tones for us. We'll start with uh, like a nice vintage tone. So I'm going to pull out some of the high mids, roll off some of the highs. We'll boost some of the low mids and boost some of the lows. From there, we'll go into more of a classic rock tone and we'll add a little bit of edge to it by bringing back the high mids and highs. We'll leave those at about noon, but we'll scoop out some of the low mids and leave the lows a little bit boosted. Cool, and finally we'll end up in a little bit of a pop and slap and land, so we'll hit our mid-shape switch, roll off just a little bit of the highs, and see where that leaves us. And 
And then we've got some input and output on the front panel. There's an eighth inch aux in. So if you want to connect any sort of line level source, uh, backing tracks, uh, you know, anything you want to play along with or practice with, you can do that right there. And we've also got an eighth inch headphone out. So once you plug in some headphones into that, it's going to mute the internal speaker and you're all set up for silent practice. And then around back, you've got the XLR direct out and this is a fully featured direct out. Uh, you've got a pre post EQ switch, uh, you've got a ground lift selector and you've also got a dial back there to select the output level uh, of the XLR out. And that's going to be right next to the effects section where you can insert your own external effects and bring in additional processing if you'd like right through that feature in the back of the amp. And then like we mentioned earlier you can take any of the three combos put them on their side and then you're in tilt back mode You've got the speaker pointed straight up at your head at a good monitor angle. Really, really useful if you find yourself on a loud, crowded stage. And uh, that's the B100 C, Ed, if you could play us out, man. Thanks.